hey guys and welcome back to another video here with angel b designs if you are new welcome if you are not welcome back what i'm going to be doing today is i'm going to be showing you guys how to do the tie-dye shirt with acrylic paint and sublimation i'm not sure how to wear that but basically it's this shirt here so i'll try my earring so what this is, this is a sublimation image on the front, and then this is acrylic paint, and I did splatter it in a tie-dye type formation on the shirt. Um, I made one for my son as well. As you can see, it's a sublimation image on the front, and then, you know, paint splats on the actual shirt. So, <clears throat> this is what we're doing today i'm so excited to show you i think they came out really really nice i like the look of them um so if you want to learn how to do this go ahead and stick around okay guys so i'm here over at my um little table here where i have my um paints i have already put the paint inside of the spray bottles i did not put a whole lot in there like literally that's it that's all i put in there and then what we're going to do is dilute it with some water um the more water you put the less vibrant the color is going to be so i'm not i do want it to be vibrant but i don't want it to be stiff so if you you know the less water you put it'll be more stiff so i'm just putting really like I don't know I'm not really measuring it I'm just kind of eyeballing it okay that's how much I put in there and these are just some regular water bottles and then we're just gonna shake it up like that okay that's really all we're doing as far as the colors. And you're just going to shake it up. Alright, and now we have our four colors that we'll be using for the two shirts today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get my shirts prepped and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I do have my shirts um, prepped. These are the two bigger shirts that I'm going to be doing. Um, I put the t-shirt the form underneath there. I got it from Hobby Lobby. It was $2. Um, now in the middle where you see the t-shirt form outlined at, that's where my design is going to be so i don't want it to bleed through there but if i get paint ac acrylic paint around here and on the sleeves and it bleeds through that's fine i just don't want it to bleed through in the middle so that's why i did it like that okay there's that one and then i have a smaller t-shirt and for the smaller one i just put butcher paper on the inside of it okay so they are prepped and ready i am just going to take those acrylic water bottles and I'm just going to splatter spray them. Okay guys so I am back here and the shirts are dried I just went ahead and I sprayed all of them the same way that um, I was showing you in those clips um, so here is the small one that I am making for my son it's a Sonic shirt and we just did blue and black now the black did kind of I think I added a little too much water to the black because as you can see like with the blue it kind of the blue looks like splatter whereas the black kind of like spread so that's what happens if you put a little too much water 
okay well what i'm going to do now is i am just going to sublimate this this is a cricut brand shirt which is 100 percent polyester okay so all i'm gonna do taking his little sonic image here we're gonna place it right in the middle and then i am gonna take a piece of butcher paper cover the whole thing and then we're going to go ahead let me cover it this way and press it 395 degrees for one minute so i will be back when it's done okay guys so our timer is going off I'm just going to go ahead and lift this up and remove our paper. That is so cute, his little Sonic. And it did press right on top of the paint, no problem. So there is his Sonic picture and there's the full shirt. I think that looks so cute. And he is going to love it. My son loves Sonic, you guys. He absolutely loves Sonic. Okay, so there's that one. I'm going to do this one next. So here is the paint. Okay, I did like a burgundy, like a dark burgundy color. I did like a light pink color. And then I added in a little bit of black. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it on my press normally if you're worried about it going through which I'm not right now um, you can put a piece of butcher paper inside of the shirt I'm not going to I'm just going to take a piece of butcher paper put it right on top and same thing I'm gonna press this at 395 degrees for one minute and I will be back when it's done I'm gonna press this one too I have a third shirt which is this one. I'm going to press both of these and then I'll bring them back and show you. All right, guys. So I am back here. And here is the final shirt. I think that looks so, so cute. The colors are super vibrant. And if you can see, because this unapolog unapologetically part is white. So you kind of see the paint splats through the letters. And it sewed right onto the paint with no problem. I think that came out so cute. And then here is, um, here's the other one. The Black Girl Magic one. I should have used probably a different color than this, um, than this pink. Now that I'm looking at it, with these colors, I should have did like a gold. So... I don't really like this pink with this, but the I, you know, you get the concept, you get the idea. These are my shirts, so this this one will probably be a house shirt, a sleeping shirt or something. But I would have probably should have done like chocolate and gold or something like that. All right, well that is all I have for this video guys thank you so much for watching i definitely appreciate it don't forget to like share subscribe all that good stuff thanks for watching bye